A 43-year-old woman was in court today accused of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl. She is the ex-girlfriend of a man who's already behind bars in Kent County. Our Michael Martin joining us live from the control room with an update on this complicated case. Michael? Janice Max, this woman is facing two felony charges and looking at the possibility of spending the rest of her life behind bars. But it's how investigators were tipped off to this whole thing and where it starts to get really complicated. The investigators say that this woman's ex-boyfriend, who is currently behind bars in the Kent County Jail, actually asked her to kill the 15-year-old victim when these allegations began to come to light. You have the right to have a preliminary examination in this case. Tuesday afternoon, the 43-year-old ex-girlfriend of Matthew Thomas Cook was in a Kent County courtroom, facing two felony counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. Do you want to give up your right to have a preliminary examination? Yes, ma'am. Cook is currently in the Kent County Jail, serving time for child porn-related convictions. His former girlfriend, now accused of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl with Cook on multiple occasions before he was locked up in May 2021. Ms. Antiza, while charged with some very serious uh, offenses here, um, has virtually no criminal record whatsoever. The investigation related to these charges started back in January. Jail staff were reviewing messages that Cook was trying to send through his jail-issued tablet. A message he wrote was quarantined and reviewed after investigators say he used the word dead. They claim that Cook asked his ex-girlfriend to kill the 15-year-old victim, a claim that was brought up by Kent County Judge Janine LaVille when considering whether or not to lower the woman's bond from $250,000 cash surety. What you're referring to here was a request or demand made by, it's not a co-defendant, but it's an individual who was incarcerated in jail. It was done by a third party. Um, that was demanded and or requested by client who rejected that demand or request. Regardless, Judge LaVille denied that request and kept the high bond amount, also moving the woman's case forward in the court system. The request involved your client. Uh, whether or not there was any acting out of it, I don't know. And so I just spoke to the Kent County prosecutor about a half an hour ago asking whether or not Matthew Cook will face additional charges because of all of this. He says that they are currently investigating his role and his actions in this. And once that's complete, they will make that decision about any potential additional charges. For now, live in the control room, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.